The Flash is bombing so hard. Oh, so hard. So for a number of reasons, and I wonder, this is just, this is anecdotal. <laughs> yeah. But you well, can do you your can... anecdote and then I'll speak for the entire world. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Go nuts. Do you think mm-hmm. if they called this movie Batman Flashpoint, it would have done better? Not necessarily like a billion. Yeah. But do you think putting Batman in the title of this would have changed it? I, I don't know because... So much of the marketing had Batman in it. All the posters have Batman in it, usually yeah. bigger than The Flash. But if you don't know when you're going into movies and you look up at the thing and yeah. it says The Flash, you're like, mm. I don't know. But if you saw Batman yeah, Flashpoint. Probably, yeah. But is that how people go to movies now? Do they know, go I into the know. movie theater I'm and go, what's at, good? I don't know. It's just anecdotal. Mm. What are you? Okay. Yeah. But I think, I, you know, like the Batman, for example, mm. it's a new Batman. That's true. It did very well, mm. like for especially because of being a reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did well regardless. But that movie was- That sub- movie's also that good. That movie was subtitled The Batman Brackets, The Batman Cracks His Head on a Bridge <laughs> in a Little Squirrel Suit. <laughs> and people were like, I got to see that. I got to see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, imagine just sitting there, you're watching the scrolling text yeah. as you're waiting to see what movie. The Bat, what's this? The Batman flies down in a squirrel suit and cracks his head on a- br- on a bridge. <laughs> All right. Is that a short or? <laughs> no, no, there's preamble to it. And then there's a bit after. But that's what you want. That's what you're there for. Anyway, so apparently uh, so people are talking about why The Flash looks terrible uh-huh. as a movie. Mm. And we talked about this last week. I don't think I'm going to spoil anything, but okay. I don't need to. But just know that if you haven't seen it, there's some things that will melt your brain. I think at this point... If you haven't seen it, maybe spoilers are the only thing that will drive you into the cinema at this okay, point. You yeah. might be like, oh, that's a cameo from whoever. I'll, maybe I'll see that. Yeah, fair point. So you want or to I'll see, it. Or I'll see it. No, but I, but, or I'll see it on Twitter. Yeah. Well, there, you can see it on Twitter. Just to be clear, also, the fidelity of those cameos is about the same watching on your phone. It might be better extent. watching them on your phone, Yeah, mm. actually. Because you yeah. won't be able to see the pixels. Exactly. So Zach Mulligan said, if it looks like a VFX shot in The Flash was made in a week, it's probably because it was. Ooh. And we suspected this, but, like, there's some stuff in this that's just like, how did this, when did mm. you start this? And it's, it's probably what happened. Mm. They probably went last minute, oh, can we squeeze this cameo in? And not to name any cameos, but one of the cameos, one of the bigger cameos in it is a famous actor. Mm. I'm not going to spoil. And supposedly they were, they there. were there. Yeah. Even though the the um, the image itself of this person in this movie is... Yeah, it looks like just a pro- an old production still mm. that they've sort of brought to life with with a with an app. And if they're there, maybe the person could have said something. In oh, the you movie. think? Like, oh, the the the, the, the character Hello, could have. I'm yeah, doing maybe. This. Hello, yeah. I'm doing this action sequence. Mm. Well, you know, yeah, it's Keanu sure. Reeves. It's not. <laughs> um, also, in terms of numbers, uh, we didn't mention this last week because we caught a little bit early. We said mm. it was projected for seventy million dollar opening, which was bad. Like yeah. that's bad. And prior to that, the tracking was something like. 110 to 140 yeah, they were million dollars. Thinking big. Mm. But it it this is just in the US, but it was a fifty-five million dollar opening, which is worse than Black Adam. Ouch. I mean, we laughed at Black Adam. Yes. And we were like, why would you do this? Or whatever. Mm. But it seems like the success of that movie, and it wasn't, because it ended up about four hundred million dollars. It maybe broke even. Was that what I think it like Dwayne Johnson really did drive whatever success of that movie that there was. That's true. And I feel like maybe we sold that short a little bit. Right. And, and, Especially and, just seeing this. It's yeah. like, God. And without the benefit of a very charismatic lead just pushing the movie forward, yeah. it didn't get any traction at all. So like maybe it, you want a lead in a movie who isn't a criminal is what you're allegedly saying. Allegedly you want that. <laughs> allegedly you don't want that. Mm. But anyway, in its second week, there is a 75% drop off and that is – I mean, again, horrendous. That is more than the sixty percent, sixty-six percent drop off that Green Lantern did. Oh no! And that—that's the bad old days. That's the, that was a bad time in memory. Yeah, that's think all about we that had. movie. Think about it. That's all we had, and people still didn't go see it. <laughs> so that also, it was expected that it was still going to be number one the second week. Number one, baby. But it's not. Is it's it Spider Verse? It's either going to be Element Elementals or Spider Verse. And then it will be. Then that will be probably third. Yeah. Again, early days. Who knows? Yeah, and, and, and also Elementals. Also, I should mention is bombing. Also, it is also so, bombing. And this is just what an incredible year. Oh, it's <laughs> such a good year for this. Sort of stuff. And and well, what it is? It's sort of a culmination of of a bunch of different factors. I agree. And we've sort of hit saturation. Too woke is what you're saying. Too woke. Exactly right. <laughs> and so with the example with Elemental, we've talked about this before, but also apparently it's all right. But that's the thing. Yeah. We'll know in a few weeks because. <laughs> And I, you know, you you can speak to this. I can only speak for the entire world, but you can speak to this as a family man. Yeah. 
if you like, it, we've reached a point where people can go, okay, we can see this elemental movie. We can go to the cinema. We can take, you know, a couple of kids, yeah. popcorn, drinks, oh, parking. I have to take some of my kids' friends as exactly. well. Exactly. I've got to put in an extra chair in the car. You've got to organise oh. all this stuff. It's going to take the entire day. You bring your bags of stuff. You've got stuff yep. for the kids and somebody will have a tantrum on the way out or whatever. Someone will do a big vomit. Exactly. And it and all the kids, It'll be me. And all the kids are sick. Like in a kid's <laughs> yeah. movie, everybody's sick and coughing and you're like, well, now, now my kids are going to be sick or whatever. Yeah. So it's like a, you know, $150 plus day yeah. for this thing that is going to be a disaster. No offence, you probably love your kids. <laughs> But, I thought you meant the movie. Oh, yeah, it's also, let's make $150. But, like, it's, it's you know, for a lot of families, it's a huge yeah. it's a huge investment in time and money mm. or you wait 30 days and it's on Disney Plus for free. Yeah. Everybody knows it's going to be there or 20 bucks or whatever yeah. it is, which is still way less. They're, people are just doing that. The only reason I am going to see this movie mm-hmm. is because it is school holidays. Right, yes. Claire is away. And I need to fill days. So right, I exactly. will take my kids and several others to yeah. see this movie. And that's where the, that's where the money is coming from. That's, but. Where, that's where they're going to get me. <laughs> that's how they're going to get you. But again, if- but I, bear in mind, I would not have seen this like at all otherwise. That's true, yeah. Like even on streaming, I probably wouldn't have watched mm, this. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Kevin Smith talked about on his podcast, Fat Man Beyond, I think it was that one, is that the plan was if this did as well as The Batman, that they were building up to a and we suspected this as well, oh. a Batman Beyond movie with Michael Keaton. Yes, right. I'm so not, that's now we don't have that. Not going to get that, are we? Because no. also, I mean, you probably saw this week, there were some leaked images of Michael Keaton in Batgirl that oh, were I released did that, as well, yeah. and it looks, I mean, apparently it's not good. I can't imagine it's worse than The Flash, though. Right. I mean, come on. And apparently, yeah, and I saw, you know, there were, I've seen on Twitter recently, there there were apparently some test screenings of it, mm. but just, you know, big fans or what have you, just or mystery screenings where they yeah. go, it's a mystery movie, see what you think. Uh, and a lot of people were like, it's pretty good, and Brendan Fraser was great in it. Yeah. And they went, nah. Yeah. He just won an Oscar, well, nah. It was, nah. I mean, we know that, like, I mean, we know what they released. This is a tax write-off. That's true, like, yes. we know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just the idea now that we're not going to get like a proper sequel to Batman Returns kind of sucks, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. Because you put that in the algorithm and it's going to say no That's now right. at this point. That's right. But, you know, we, not everything needs a sequel and that mm. and that is okay. But just the fact that they they wasted it on this. Here's, here's a movie idea for you. Yeah, yeah. Some people sneak into Warner Brothers to, to hack into the algorithm so it makes better movies. Oh, wow. That'd be pretty good, right? I would love that. Yeah. Do you want to also do it in real life? Yeah. Just pour a bucket of water on it. <laughs> That's right. Probably do it. That's right. Oh, uh, more Aquaman good. movies. Interesting. <laughs> and Spum's doing a Hydro Man movie. Now, before we talk Netflix stuff, Mason, you're going to hate this. I bet I will. Indiana Jones 5 is now ha, now has a fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes at a 62% at time of recording. Guess what? I like that. Because <laughs> we've seen it. We have seen it. Uh, we're, uh, we're not going to get into the specifics. We'll talk about it next week. Mm. Also, next week's episode will be about a day, maybe a bit less late. Okay. Because I will be not available to record in our normal times. Interesting. Um, so, but we, it, so it'll be a little bit late. Most people won't be affected because they watch it, they'll listen to it like in their own time or whatever. But mm, true. that immediate release will not be probably. You early birds, consider listening to it in your own time, but later. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I will say this about Indiana Jones. Yes. I think a lot of people, like whatever you kind of bring to this is what you're going to get out of it. Like for me, for example. I brought a whip. It was, yep. It was my most anticipated movie of the year and I thought it was going to be the best movie of the year. And uh-huh. to me it was. 